Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we have another brand new guest here on BMTV this week. It is a lovely young lady called Angie George. I didn't forget your name. I just, I was, I was <laughs> pausing for effect. I have to point that out. Um, so yeah, Angie George, welcome. Thank you. Now, Thank we've you met for inviting a, me. You're welcome. More than welcome. Um, we've, we've met a couple of times. I think the last time we met, you'd had some wine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was at the uh, Amscan, what was it called? Uh, Balloon in Marvellous, do you remember that? That's right. Yeah, that was you, a few years you were, back you were there, all, Greg. You were all dolled up and you, we, you, you'd had a couple of glasses of wine. Yeah, and we're a few years wiser and a yeah, yeah. few uh, inches wider, maybe. But, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, don't say it. I'm more than a few inches, I have <laughs> me to too, say. Me too, me too, that I have lockdown. To say. And it, yeah, blame, let's blame lockdown. We yeah, blame definitely, lockdown. Blame, definitely. Blame, blame, blame COVID. Anyway, thank you, as I say, for coming on the show. Now, it's the first time you've been on the show, so what I like to do with everybody is to find out just a little bit more about you, how you got into our industry, and what you did to get to where you are now. So, oh, I didn't, did I say, I didn't say, creative craft workshops. That's right. Sorry, I totally messed that up, but anyway. <laughs> That is Angie's company. That's who Angie is. Uh, Creative Craft Workshops. Check it out. Creativecraftworkshops.co.uk. That's all right. Hey, there we are. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Yeah, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about your story, how you got to be here today? Okay. Um, well, art's my background. Yeah. Um, and it was on maternity that I decided that I wanted to get back into the art world. Okay. Um, and become myself again. Okay. And not the mum to my two kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you lost you lose your name. Yeah. So done a bit of searching, looked for some creative courses, saw a course on balloons. Okay. And wondered how you could do a course on balloons and it's just tying a knot, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, That's all it is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um and it fascinated me and it's just gone on from there. So um obviously I'd done my decorating company to begin with and at the same time was being trained to be a a teacher in college okay um and then i continued on with the teaching which i worked for over 20 years now oh wow teaching okay. for so, event styling balloon artistry so you've been an educator a trainer in our industry for a long time but yeah. it's really more than anything else a trainer more than a decorator would yes. you say okay yes definitely all right i think it goes back from my years of doing sport okay um what sports did you do i was a gymnast Really? Yes. What, professionally Hence, or? Uh, I competed internationally. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hence why being so short, it works well as a gymnast. Okay. What did you do? Was it? What, uh, what? Bars, beam, floor, vault. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Can you do something now? Uh, <laughs> no, I'll let you demonstrate that, that one. <laughs> I've always wanted to be able to do, you know, the flick flack thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never tried it, but I've always wanted to be able to just do that. Maybe one day. One day. Getting one a bit day. Old. You never know. You yeah. never know. Keep going on that treadmill or that rowing machine. Yeah, or... yeah. I'm not sure that'll <laughs> give me the flexibility. But um... <laughs> who knows? Okay, so you. And were... then I suppose when I got to an age where I had to give up the sport as a competitor, mm. I then took my qualifications as a coach. Mm. Um, so you learn to teach All right, and coach. Okay. Um, and then when I had my kids, they were. As, um, international badminton players. Oh, wow. So I took my badminton coaching as well. All right. And then I also become a trampoline coach because they were shorter trampoline coaches. Yeah, yeah. So throughout that time, I have done lots of teaching anyway in the sports side of things. Trampoline coaching. My daughter did trampolining. And it's not just bounce up and down, is it? It is There's much a whole more, lot more to it. <laughs> I used to love watching it. It's mm. really impressive as yeah. well. And you've got to get your time. You've just got to be on all the time because Definitely. when it goes wrong, you've got to catch them and stuff. Exactly. I'll put the mat under. Or, and you've got to be whatever. well balanced as well to yeah. stand on that bed when they're, when they're bouncing. Yeah. yeah. And you're trying to keep pretty much stable in case something has to, yeah. you know, you have to go in and spot. So, so teaching has really always been in your blood? It has been, although, you know, my background comes from sales, marketing, exhibitions, graphic design. Yeah. Um, You've done a lot. I've always always done the sports side, the art side. Um, yeah, so I'm a, a character with lots of strings yeah. to my bow, really. <laughs> and now, if people go to your website, they will be able to see the courses that you, you offer. Yeah, well. so there's a variety of courses as well. It's not just the balloons. Obviously, I teach balloon artistry at two yeah. levels. Um, there's event styling, so we do uh, builds. 
where you can get experience of being on a build. Yeah. And that's a full event style. Okay. Um, do lots of creative courses as well, like making the florals. Yeah. Uh, giant flowers, making giant flowers out of different uh, mediums. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of different courses. Yeah. Um, and lots more to come. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway. You are here today to show us something. Now, yep. people might notice there are there are no balloons here. I mean, there are. There's some. Well, there's some. <laughs> some, some here, and there's, there's some over there that I'm going to show you in a second. But it's mainly something floral you're going to show us, isn't it? Yeah, I thought with the trends, the way they're going, I mean, obviously, a lot of it is dried flowers at mm -hmm. the moment. Um, but if you're starting to create, it's much easier using a medium, first of all. So it's a bit like when you blow up a bubble. Yeah. You start with a valved bubble to get used to it. Yeah. And then you can move on to the deco bubbles because you've got, then got to think about the tie-in action. Yeah. Um, so again, with florals, if you use the um, artificial, whether okay. the silks or some of these are like a, a plastic as well, yeah. um, they're very flexible. Okay. Where dried flowers are more static yeah. and you can't bend them, they'll yeah, just yeah. snap. Yeah, and yeah. they're very, very dusty and uh, as we knew when with we with, with, yeah, we're doing <laughs> quite a lot of um, dried flowers now and dried grasses and stuff like yeah. that. Very, you're right, they're very, very popular, but they can be quite messy, <laughs> particularly when you have a poppy head pops and it's just stuff everywhere. Exactly. And, and they're also very hard to store. So they're very yeah. expensive to buy, Yeah. Um, especially a made floral design, mm. which you attach to your hoops or... Yeah. Um, and if so, if you're making them, you're going to be hiring it out, yeah. attached to your hoop. Okay. But it's where do you store it when it's True. not being hired out? Because it's a big piece, it's very dusty, and it does collect the dust a lot. And you mentioned earlier on that yours is on a bed. It is. It takes up a full bed <laughs> because it's so big. Yeah. And uh, every time I pick it up, you have to dust it all yeah. down because yeah. of all the bits that have yeah. come away from it. So how big is it? Is it that big? Bigger? Oh, it's quite big. Oh, it's right. like... It's probably wider than my oh, wow. width, yeah. That's with amazing. with all the like the lengths that come yeah, off it, yeah. And then the big fans in it, and the poppy heads, and so this is an example of the kind of thing you're talking about. Now, are these artificial or are these? These are all artificial. All artificial I mean, products. I have had a, I have put a bit of dried in this one, okay. Uh, which is just a leaf that I've plaited or, yeah. or woven and then dried, okay. Um, but all of this is artificial. Okay, and we've got some more here. Yes, These so are all again, as well. all artificial again. Okay, and we have, let's, let's just show the balloony one. Okay. And there, is, let me push it over there a little bit. There we are. So there you've got a hoop with um, two 60s, and yep. then you've done, we'll, we'll show a picture of this to show the full thing. But the main focus is is this here as well, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, what I've done is all th all three that you've sh you've you're seeing here are all done in the same technique. Yeah. I've done it quite DIY ish. Okay. So that it's easy for people to have a go at. So it's you know using that lovely hot glue gun. Yeah. Um, and just it looks great. Though. Pulling them all together and yeah. and they're really robust as well, so yeah. they can go out time and time and time yeah. again. Yeah. And they're easy to attach to whatever. I mean, a cable tie to attach it to a hoop. Yeah. You can even use things like the clips. Okay. That you can yeah. clip onto the front of a table. Yeah. yeah. And you can rest. So it's a front of a say, oh, top table. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, then you can decorate nice. it with the. You could put balloons behind it. And then you just hide you could that add somehow. With some yeah. Of the this flowers. this will just get buried into the into, that into there, so you won't actually see it. So Excellent. there's lots of ways that you can use them. Okay. I'm going to move this so, back out of okay. the way, and then you're going to show us what you're going to what you're going to do. Excuse me a second. Right. Okay. Now you're not going to get me to do anything, are you? Um, oh, I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> what you like with the hot glue gun? I've never used one. Have you not? No. I okay. can smell it now, though. I, yeah, I, the hot glue guns really heat up. When you turned um, it on, I was like, oh, no, what is it? What's that smell? What's that smell? Um, yeah. And I realised it. Well, nice. I noticed that you actually have in the warehouse these ones. They're the yeah. Oasis ones. Yeah, yeah. And they are amazing. My ones, obviously, you can see very worn. Very well used. Um, it is very well used. But it's got the on-off switch here. Yeah. But you've got the cool melt. Yes. What's the difference in a cool melt and a, and a hot? It's melt? just the it's just the heat that the glue's melted at. Does what what difference does that make though in the final product? Is this glue stronger than a? a cool it's not. Glue? It's not necessarily stronger. But what I find is when you use hot glue, 
you've got more time to work with it before it sets. Okay. Right. The cool glow sets very quickly because it heats up at a lower temperature. Okay. Yeah. So it cools there much quicker. And I guess... So you've got time to move your things around before it actually sets, but you have to wait yeah. for it to set as well. So I guess this is the sort of thing that you wouldn't use this with balloons. Oh, no, 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 no. It's far too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. good. All right, so what are we going to do? Okay, so we're going to try and make it very, very easy. And what I've done is I was like a kid in a candy store in your warehouse, <laughs> choosing all these Glad lovely, you liked it. yeah, choosing all these lovely florals. So what I've done here is I've I've got a bush mm -hmm. of I think you call it the mini eucalyptus bush. I'll take Would your you know? word for it. I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull it in half. And this is what's nice about it, you can bend it. Yeah, so you couldn't do that with real flowers, obviously. And you can do it with dried. Yeah, yeah. Because dried will come as mainly single stems or they'll snap. Um, so we've got there. Now this might be a job for you, Greg, if okay, you've got strong yeah. hands. Oh yeah. You see where this little ridge can, is yes. here? We're going to cut through that. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, go on. Okay. Shall I use it? I'll use this. You can use whatever ones you like. Okay, we'll see. This is where I struggle. Oh, it is quite hard. It is. I think what you've got to do is just wiggle it a bit and then break do you the do it? plastic. No, I'll let you do it. I've got, I've got to give you some job to do. <laughs> it is quite hard. We'll just play some music. Oh, this is going on. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. it, bend it, it and it. that's it. it. And then you can just cut through. I bet my face is red now. <laughs> there we are. Hey, that. there you go. <laughs> We'll have, we'll have to cut that out. <laughs> oh, well, we can know. speed it up. We'll see, yeah, speed it up. <laughs> okay. I've hurt my hand now. Have you? Yeah. Risk assessment. <laughs> okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread this out a bit. So now we've got that yes. base. Yeah. And this is a structure that we can work from because it's all together. Yeah. We can now feed the other florals into it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, now this is really lovely. This was, this is like sold as a, a one piece. Do we sell that as well? Yes, it is yours. Okay, good. I, this is all from your warehouse. Oh, excellent. Okay, good news. So, and I, what I've done is I've just separated it. So I've got single stems to work with. Okay. So you can use whatever you want to. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed these stems through. This is going to be one of those things, isn't it? That's actually quite simple. It is. It's, it's very, very amazing. simple. Yeah. Don't worry about how that looks at the moment. It will look very flat, but you, because they're on wires, you can fluff them up afterwards. Okay. So we're just going to... Would you like to cut some of these down oh, for me? No. <laughs> I'm oh. going to cut them to about there, okay. so they're not too long. Okay. I'll cut some too. I'll make you a florist or a... Oh, you're clearly stronger than me. I think it's something to do with these blades. I think they're, they're not right. Would you like to try these ones yeah, then? Yeah, yeah. Go on then, you have a go at those ones. Got to be that. This will, this will, these will just go through straight away, I'm sure. So I'm just feeding these... Yeah, hey! these are <laughs> You gave me the blunt yeah. ones. Did you do that on purpose? Right, the first bit is always quite hard because you've got you, you've not got much stability there. Okay. So what I tend to do is I take this, which is your Oasis wire. It's yep. got like a, cover, a paper cover on it, and then you can just wrap it round a bit. Let's cut a piece off first. Be easy to work in. Get really and then that will just hold that together so that you can feed in. Yes, yeah, so you can just hold them ones in each side you can cut them bits off in a minute just hold it together a bit I, to say, I mean you can use this wire i mean it lasts forever because yeah. it's a big one um or you can use some jute ribbon uh jute string yeah whatever you can get your hands on really i was just going to say yeah. angie you are the person that's just the smartest ever for bmtv with a jacket on Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. You look very smart. Okay, so I'm just doing that to, just to hold it together for the time being. So it gives me a bit more stability to now be able to just poke these ones through. Okay. So 
So you're going to take that off later? Or, or no, we can on? just glue over the top of it. Okay. It just holds it more and we'll probably put a bit more wire on once we've got more florals in there. Yeah, so all I've Very done good. is fed them through. Yeah. You can, if you want to, is use your hot glue gun as you go and just throw some hot glue in there just to hold them together. Oh, look at the smoke coming off it. Oh, I hope the smoke detector doesn't go off. <laughs> it's the water sprinklers. I don't want to go off. <laughs> no, <laughs> you need a very hot temperature for that to happen. I think. Yeah, so that's just holding them ones in a bit. So now what I'm going to do, that's enough of that there, I think. So now what we can do is we can add some of the daisies. That smells quite nice. It has got a nice smell to yeah, it, hasn't it? Yeah. The cool glue doesn't smell like that. So, have a look at your daisies now. If you have a look at them daisies, the design of them is like we teach when we're doing a, blo a bloom bouquet, okay. the staggered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you're getting the line coming nice. through them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, we want these to be slightly longer, so we're going to just lay them in there so we don't need all of that stem, so I could probably cut that off. Oh, there we go. I'll, I'll let you I'll, have a I'll go at that one. Happy to watch your nails. And then we can do one with... Well, it's easy with the right ones. There you go. Yeah. Do you want to do that one as well? The same sort of level. We'll get you working in the florist shop soon. Yeah. Well, so the florist just... shops, you normally keep them quite cold, don't you? Oh, they are cold. Yeah. Because they're working with fresh flowers. Yeah. Now, the thing is, I mean, this is, this is quite a DIY way of doing this. Okay. And I'm just doing this. It makes it easy for people to make, you know, the quick arrangement that they can use on... Uh, you know, they're hoops or an easel or, but... When you say DIY, uh, what would be the alternative? Well, to be honest, these florists, florists have trained for years and years and years as florists. Yeah. They know their design, they know their florals, they know what is right to put on a food table because some plants are poisonous, etc. Oh, right, okay. um, so I would, if you, if you really want a big display or you want something done professionally, Work with your florist, yeah. work with your local florist because you both get work from each other. Absolutely. So, there you go. Thank you. So, I'm just going to push this one in here. Can you see they stay nicer now because that's nice, a bit more solid? Yeah. And then we're just going to, I'll give you this one. I'll use the blunt pliers because I don't want oh, you I, moaning. I got, I got rid of them. You got rid of them then? Yeah, good luck with us. Okay, what what are we doing? All right, we're just going to take some stems of these off. Okay. So just cut you've, through them. You've got me more active on BMTV than I think I've ever been. There you go. Oh, well. Get you making a bow later, Greg. Hey, I don't think so. I think so. Oh, I'm sure about that. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, sometimes you can just pull them out. Oh, no, you tell me. <laughs> oh. So we've just wrecked them and pulled them apart. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed these in as well. I was doing all single ones, you're supposed to. Yeah, no, you can do single ones. Because the single ones we can bring down lower. Once we've got all these in, we can add some more hot glue. Just going to wrap that wire around a bit more. So do you find, you, you talked about working with your local florist, do you find that more balloon decorators and florists are working together? No. Really? They're working separately, yet all them years ago um, with qualifications, um, like the government qualifications, mm. city and guilds, etc. Yeah, yeah. um, blooms and flowers went hand in hand with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I know some so, florists, we have quite a lot of florist customers that also do balloons. So they do a, a, a bit of both, obviously floristry is their main area but they have added balloons and balloon people have added definitely added. crops yeah flowers yeah so it's i think the industry has expanded where you're yeah. not just a master of that trade you're a jack of all trades i, I have heard these of some days balloon decorators though working with florists particularly high-end florists oh definitely if you're event styling yeah. i would say definitely you you work close you work closely with your local florist yeah because they know what they're doing you know they're they're skilled, they, uh, they're trained. Yeah. And event, for event styling, you do want the professional. Oh, look, we've got loads here. Yeah, I've got loads. 
I'll take these for a single one. Just feeding these ones through. Do you want to feed some through to no, see how easy no, it is? No, not at all. Oh, go on then. And then just feed some through. Again, yeah. at different lengths. So the easiest way it's to really describe hard, it. It's really hard, It's not. That's all right because we're going to glue it in place okay. anyway. Look, I did one. There you go. So all you're doing is you're staggering it like the staggered bouquet. So you're not putting them all in a line. I mean, when they're... That's how they've made them, so they are staggered. Yeah, yeah. But as you put single ones in, you're staggering them through yeah. the design. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's just put a few little ones in there as well. Just push that into there. I'm feeling quite tired doing all this work. Be an early night then, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> the other guests on BMTV don't make me work this hard. Don't they? No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not coming back then. <laughs> It's probably good for me. Okay, so what we what we'll do here Are we is, done then? yep. So I think that's enough in there for it's now. I mean, you can add as much floral as you like. And I guess you can make these really, really big if you wanted yeah. to. I mean, I'm just doing this size for now. But you can, like for instance, I've used the. I mean, this is artificial as well, so you can get the length. Yeah, yeah. But you're stag again. You're staggering all your colours and your different flowers yeah. through it into a focal area so you're double-ended so you could make it you know if you had the, the the right flowers and stuff you could make it five feet wide or something definitely definitely so i'm going to put my glasses on for All this right. one because i'm as blind as a bat and i'm just going to get my hot glue in here now just to hold everything together okay so i'm just going to squeeze my hot glue into the stems hence why i've got my cutting board underneath because you really don't want to over the wire as well. It, this just holds everything in place. What I tend to do as well is, it's a really good idea, if you're working with hot glue, to have a bowl of water near you, okay. so that if you do touch your hot glue, you can go straight into the water with your fingers. Yeah, Because okay. it, it can burn. Yeah, so I'm just, and then I'm just going to turn that over. Put you're obviously not worried about that today, are you? Because you know what you're doing. No, well... <laughs> <laughs> just going to squeeze a nice lot of glue in there. And that just holds everything together. And it makes it really solid as well. Yeah. There you go, we've got a nice load of glue in there now. So we're just going to let that dry. And as we're letting that dry, we're going to make a little bow to hide it in the middle. Oh, someone's come out. So because the hot glue is wet, we can pop it in. That's what you're saying. It takes a uh, it uh, takes a while, a while to set, so you can still work with it. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm just going to add another little one into there. I think. There you go. Okay. All right. So whilst we're letting that dry, we're going to make a little bow. Okay. This is a, this stuff is amazing. Look at the roll, it's a massive. It is. I think you get 25 metres or something. I don't know, you've got your glasses on, I've got mine on, what's it say? Oh, what does it say? 20 metres. There you go. Yeah, and they call it the, a table runner. Oh, so that's these. a skinny little table runner. Well, the thing is, what's nice about something like this is that if you've got a little centrepiece, you can make your centerpiece bigger just by putting fabrics underneath. Okay. So if you had, say, a centerpiece, if that just stood there on its own, yeah. But then you've got just some of this coming. You can finish it off. You can knot it. Yeah, you could add yeah. a little flower to the end, and you could extend. I see. The size of your Very centerpiece. Very clever. Good tip. Yeah. So we're just going to make a little bow today, just to go on there. So all I'm going to do is have a look at the size hoop that I need. And I'm wanting this to come just so it overlaps this area here. Yep. So that's going to be roughly the size of the hoop. Let's cut that string and make it easier. I'm just going to come over here. So let's just chop that bit off. 
Right, so what we're going to do is find the centre here, uh -huh. turn it to the front, and then I'm just going to cut a piece of string. Ready? Now when you do it, if you if you come in, so on the good side, uh -huh. if you make like a valley, yeah. and then fold the ends down, you get that perfect bow tie shape. Okay. So you've got the creases there. Yeah. And then if we just put this around it here. And then you can just tighten that off nice and tight. So when I make, if I made it this type of bow, um, I'd always keep my strands long. Mm -hmm. um, because what you can do, I mean, these ones are glued on these daisies. Yeah. But you could now, if you've got whatever balloon you've got, you could then have the threads to tie around. I see. Okay, and you'd yeah. have a nice little, yeah, yeah, nice little bow on it there. So I always keep these a bit longer to see what I want to do with them. So I'm just going to do that now. Depending on if you're hanging this. Or if you're just going to sit it there, it, I mean, it might be that you want this as you're hanging it on a hook. Yeah. Yeah. By the time we fluffed it, you might hang this on a hoop over a picture. So you might not want ribbons coming down okay. from it. But if you're hanging it, say, on a hoop or on here, you might want some towels yeah, yeah. coming down. So if you want the towels, just get your towels to the length that you want them. Use the ribbon. Scrunch. Tie. Oops. And then what we can do is we can tie that round here. So you can tie your tails on first. She says, butterfingers. <laughs> It's long now, as you see. I don't have that problem. I'm not very good at tying things. I'm not very good at a lot. Well, you was all right cutting them wires. I wasn't, though. I'm, I'm like she got the sharp it. ones. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to tie that on. So you can change your ribbons. So if you just tie these on, you can change the ribbon to ah, suit yeah. your decor. Yeah, so this sort of thing, you can, you wouldn't just do that, add it into a design and not use it again. You can no, use no, this no, again no, you'd again. use it over and over again. So, um, like I say, it could be where you hang it yeah. for a table. It could be where you put it on an easel. Yes. Yeah. I've got the bow hanging here. <laughs> um, so you could use these for baby showers, weddings, birthdays, yeah. and they're the bits that you tie around, just like your dried arrangement on your hoop. Yeah, yeah, you tie yeah, them, okay. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't actually sell them on. But these are nice and robust because they've got lots so, of I mean, hot glue. Talking about pricing, obviously we talk a lot about pricing in the, in the industry, and um, this is something that your time, you only do it once, but yeah. then you use it again and again and so again. So you claim so. your time back, but once you get moving on it, and without the talking, you'll probably do something like this in 10, 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, But absolutely. then you've got that use of it afterwards as well. Yeah, brilliant. And they are so robust because they're artificial. They're not yeah. going to... Yeah. So now all I'm going to do is just tie my bow on as well. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you fluff it up. Pressure. I don't think you understand quite how incompetent I am at so many things. No, I'm sure you're fine. I'm serious. I tried um, tying ribbon into a into a balloon at oh. one of the, the training courses that we do and uh, just couldn't do it. Couldn't get it right. Oh, uh, well, we'll definitely get you trying to make it. <laughs> I'm going to get you tying a bow. How to get the perfect bow every time. All right. Okay. So I've let my hot glue go on that, so... Don't worry, don't worry. That's right, but you, you can understand the gist of it. Uh, 
So you can either... So I turn this off now? I'm just, I'm just uh, yes, we can oh, turn that off. Just, okay. Yep. Right. So we can either point cut it or yep. diagonally cut it, depending on what your preference is. Diagonal. So if you see here, oh, no, I'm not, doing the longer good. length on the outer side. Okay. Just because it will take your eye through the design more. Okay. So it brings it in. Ta-da. So now, this is your go. Greg, right, well, so what we can do, if we got a side each... I don't want to break it. You That's, won't break it. I might break it. it. Just, Tell so me what, what we get Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going... Just fluff it. So just don't be frightened, because if you if you put your hand down there so that you you can move them about. All oh, right, I see. Okay. Yeah, so see you're I mean. just giving the arrangement a little bit more depth. Oh, this is easy. So I told you you could do that. Yeah. Yeah, so you just bring in your, so bring some of your greens through as well. Oh, clearly I'm um, not as good as I thought I was. There you go. So bring a grass through, so you're getting all your colours coming through your design. And there you go, look, how easy. That's brilliant. What's that? I love it. Look, just put it up here, on the other side. Sure. Put it there. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, so obviously I would tie that on. Yeah. Cut me bits off. Oops, that little bit's come. Yeah, so you've got something that is so flexible to use. Yeah. Table, you could even have them as table centerpieces. So you could have them laying on the table. And in fact, let's do this. Shall we get our balloons? Okay, all of them. Yep. Oh, how did you tie and these shall on? We shall we tie it? Oh tie no, it you've tied them on. How am I going to untie those? Have you done it in a... Oh. There you go. <laughs> you made me look really stupid there, Angie. Thank you so much for that. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Oops. Oh, dear. I think I've just hit the overhead camera. Yeah. Shall we come? Over well, bring it down a little bit. So down more than you would normally. So normally okay. you do it higher. If you've got so a high what you could do is a, a, we'll just position it. We'll hold okay. it there. So what I've done here is I've taken the design through just by sticking a daisy yeah. on there to bring the daisies through the design. And you can tie this down and this will be weighty enough to hold your balloons as yeah, well. Yeah. But it's a centerpiece as well. So if you were in a big room, a big hotel event room, and you've got the height of the ceiling, you can have that at whatever height. Or a single balloon. To, or yeah, the, yeah. yeah, so you could attach your balloons on. You could attach them. I mean, you could... Oh, she says, I've let go of them now. <laughs> Let's bring them down there like that. I'll bring my hand up them. So you could have them to the side of the centerpiece. Yeah. You could have them further up the table of the yeah. centerpiece and yeah. have your jute runner coming along and then maybe add a little daisy as you go along. There's the just jute no runner. stopping you, is there? You've no, got there, ideas after so idea many. after idea. <laughs> I know, but there's just so much you can do with okay. floral arrangements okay. and the balloons. Okay. All right. So Well Angie, thank you so much for that. I think it looks that's great. Okay. Let's tie these back on here. Okay. And then you as a guest on BMTV, get to ask everybody the question of the week. So do you have a question you would like to ask everybody um, in the BMTV nation out there? Oh, um, well, as soon as we're working with florals, yeah. what is your favourite flower? Okay. Favourite flower to work with, favourite flower... Just your favourite flower. So if someone okay. was to buy you a bunch of flowers, do you like roses, do you like tulips, do you like lilies? Okay. So what is your favourite flower? What's your favourite flower? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Angie, thank you so much for coming and thank doing you. this. And thank you, everybody out there for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. And check us out on Instagram as well. Right, stay happy, stay positive, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye. Bye.